Well, you've probably heard of Program Cars. This is a former Halet RV Program camper that just came back to us down here at Halet RV Brokers of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, it was a member of our rental fleet, actively maintained. Uh, we sold it to its one and only original owner. Looks like they've used it a lot, had a lot of fun, and basically, they're just done camping. So we've got ourselves a carpetless, no slide, no nonsense bunkhouse camper here. Ideal for folks looking to get rid of a pop-up or maybe just try their hand at camping the first time before they go get a big one. Carpetless and ventless flooring makes this easy to clean. The folks added their own full backsplash to the uh, kitchen wall there and they extended it past the sink, which is a nice touch. Everyone has the little kind of, uh, not live, laugh, love, but what's this one? Make your dreams come true. Little wall sticker there, which easily removed if that's not your thing. Six foot nine tall, which is a little bit bigger than most campers in this class. And it does have central air cabinet ducted heating. So good spring, summer, fall camper. It's not made for any sort of like Arctic winter use or anything like that. Uh, it, it's it's kind of a, it's an essentials package, but it gets the job done, and I speak from personal experience. This is basically the layout that I tend to find myself in. The rare opportunity I actually get to go out and enjoy camping in the industry all about camping. That's kind of the story of like a roofer with a leaky roof. You just don't get to do it a lot when it's what you do as a profession. Big campsite breeze window there, and of course you could always crack open the uh, main door and enjoy a screen door for more air and visibility. It's TV ready. I don't see where a TV was ever applied into this. This this series, this trim level, if you talk about it like a car, it's um, kind of the, uh, like, just no nonsense. This is a camper, not a, not a full-time living RV. Little touches, though. The separate curtains for the upper and lower bunks. That is one of those things to just help keep the, the kiddos or the guests or whoever from bickering. Now, this is what's called a split bath. And it might seem a little weird at first that the sink is outside of the master bathroom. But in a model like this that could sleep four, five, six, seven, eight people maybe, if someone's using the shower or the toilet, it would cut off the sink. So they split them up. Uh, and what it lets you do is kind of have more people doing more things at one time, potentially. Very handy if, uh, you know, you need to get the kiddos wrapped up and into bed sooner than later. One of the reasons that I like this trailer is that taller height because it means that a guy like me can stand in the shower without my head necessarily having to be in the bubble. Both the sofa and dinette can fold down into sleepers. The dinette has storage under both benches. The uh, sofa has storage under half. And a neat touch is that this has pleated nightshades uh, throughout the RV, with the exception of the uh, window right behind the sink, and that's got uh, metallic mini blinds. That's for fire code reasons, however. Um, the uh, partial privacy wall here, the idea behind that is to help the RV look and feel larger while still being able to be closed off at night. And a neat little thing they did here. I like this. They put these little circular uh, reflective mirror panels on that front headboard, and it really kind of, because every time when you move, you see the reflections change, it really brought some a breath of fresh air and some life into an otherwise, you know, pretty straightforward, simple, but effective area right here. It just, sometimes it's, it doesn't have to be big and flashy and expensive to really kind of catch your attention and to, to mean a lot and to do a lot for the RV. Below that master bed, we have ourselves a pretty cavernous uh, storage compartment right here with large doors on both sides of the camper. So it is easy to get cargo, uh, even if it shifts a little bit. The uh, folks upgraded this. It would have had originally a manual tongue jack. Looks like that was swapped out for a power jack. And this does have a power awning. So, you know, getting it onto and off the truck, setting up camp, very quick and easy here. There's no, like, underbelly you know arctic package or anything in place here it's just basic spring summer fall camper now if you want to go cold camping as long as you have it winterized if if you just take the water system out of the equation it's gonna do just fine and pardon me as i dodge around lake Halet on the backside here we had a hard rain last night and it has the uh the the sloping of this facility here it needs uh needs a little bit of grading work basically but back to the camper fully walkable roof um, and actually, that's one of the cool things on your Jayco's is their roofs are weighted or rated to hold a little bit more weight. Um, there's also storage below those uh, bunks, and you see that little door coming into play right now. And we have uh, uh, tinted windows to help keep the sunshine out and the nosy neighbors at bay. <laughs> Overall, like I said, not uh, not not all juiced up and flashy and fancy. It's a camper, not an RV. Get your family out, go outside and build some memories. Get on a bicycle, get in the lake, get dirty. That's what this one's all about. 
come back home, sleep it off, get a bite to eat, get back out. That's what this one is right here. So if that sounds good to you, give us a call down here at Halet RV Brokers. And whether you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, give us a call because we do it all. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.